Hey there, I'm not Dan, but in this video we are going to be practicing our stoichiometric conversions. It's... Welcome back. Before we go any further, be sure to grab your periodic table, a calculator, and obviously something to write with and write on. Alright, let's go. Okay, so up top I've got here my makeshift molar express for stoichiometry. And here is the equation that we're going to be using. Magnesium and aluminum chloride gives us magnesium chloride and aluminum. All right, so let's get into our first question here. It says to convert 20.2 moles of aluminum chloride into moles of magnesium chloride. All right, so it's giving us 20.2 moles of aluminum chloride. So we're going to take our given just like we did before. So the given is always what we write down first. And we put that over one. And then, before we even know exactly what we're doing, we already actually know part of what's going to go in this next fraction, right? Because whatever is on top, right? This is just dimensional analysis right here. Whatever unit is on top in our given is going to go on the bottom of the next fraction. All right, so I'm just going to put that in right now. All right, so now let's actually kind of figure out where we are. So it's giving us moles of aluminum chloride. Well, our given is number one, so that's moles of number one, so that's right here. Moles of number one, it's asking us for moles of magnesium chloride. So whatever it's asking for is number two. So that is moles number two over here. So we're going from moles one to moles two using our balanced equation. Okay, so whatever we are going to is what goes on top of the next fraction. So we got moles of magnesium chloride, so that goes right here. And then it says balanced equation. So our numbers are going to come directly from the balanced equation. Right? So what number is in front of, oh, I'm sorry, that should be MgCl2. <laughs> sorry, my bad. Um, <clears throat> so the number in front of MgCl2 is a 3. The number in front of uh, AlCl3 is a 2, like so. So moles of aluminum chloride can be crossed out. We're left with mag moles of magnesium chloride, which is what the question is asking for. So we know we're done. We can put the equal sign, and now we just multiply across. 20.2 times 3 divided by 2. And the answer we get is 30.3, which has three sig figs, the same as the number of sig figs right up front. So we know we're good there. And then our units are moles of MgCl2. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Convert 38.13 grams of magnesium into moles of magnesium chloride. So once again, there's just some things we can write down without even really paying attention to the question. We know that we can already put 38.13 grams of magnesium over 1. And since I know that grams of magnesium is on top here, I know that I can put grams of magnesium on the bottom. All right, so now let's kind of figure out where we're going. So it's giving us grams of magnesium. So, and remember, the given is referenced by number one. So this is grams of number one. It's asking for moles of magnesium chloride, the second substance. So that is moles number two. So we're going from grams one to moles two. And as you see, uh, or as you can see, we can't do this in just one step, right? We have to go through moles number one before we can go to moles number two. All right, so our first stop along the way is moles number one. And since number one is the same number one, it's the same substance. So instead of grams of magnesium on top, we're going to put moles of magnesium. And where do we get our numbers? Well, it tells us to get that from the molar mass. So the molar mass of magnesium, when you look it up on the periodic table, that is element number 12. So it has a mass of 24.3. Now, is that moles or grams? Well, of course, that is the number of grams. It is 24.3 grams per one mole. All right, so grams of magnesium can cross out. We are left with moles of magnesium. Is that what we're looking for? Well, no, because we're asking for moles of magnesium chloride, so that means we need to add another fraction. All right, so we're now at moles number one. We're going to go to moles number 
2, all right, so since moles of magnesium is on top, that means it needs to go on the bottom over here. And what if we are going to happens to go on top? So moles 2 is moles of magnesium chloride. All right, so we've got our unit situated, and now we need to figure out our numbers. Where do the numbers come from? Well, it says it right here. It is the balanced equation. So according to balanced equation, what number is in front of magnesium chloride? Well, that is a 3. What number is in front of magnesium? Also a 3. Okay, so moles of magnesium cross out. We are left with moles of magnesium chloride, which is what we're looking for. So we can put the equal sign and pick up the calculator. Plus, since we can also see that we've got 3 over 3, which is the same thing as 1 over 1, so we're already, we're just going to go ahead and cross those out too, since the numbers kind of cancel each other out. So all we've got here is 38.13 divided by 24.3, and our number that's given to us has 4 sig figs, which means our answer must have 4 sig figs. So we've got 1.569. And our units are moles of magnesium chloride. All right now, before I do this last one here, I'm going to scroll down just a tad to give myself some more space like that. All right. So we are going to convert 18.0 uh, grams of magnesium into grams of aluminum chloride. All right. So that means we are going from grams number one all the way over here to grams number two. So we've got three steps, all right? So we're gonna take our given 18.0 grams of magnesium over one. Okay, we're going to use our molar mass. So it's actually the same as the beginning of the previous question. So I already know that I'm gonna do one mole of magnesium over 24.3 grams of magnesium. All right, so grams magnesium cross out. I'm left with moles of magnesium, which is not what I'm looking for, so that's got to go on the bottom right here. Uh, so that's a moles one, moles two. So moles of aluminum is what goes on top, right? Because aluminum is what the question is asking for. So in our balanced equation, there are two moles of aluminum, three moles of magnesium, all right, so moles cross, or moles of magnesium cross out. We are left with moles of aluminum. So already I know that moles of aluminum have to go on the bottom. And what's going to go on top? Well, it's the unit that we're going to, which is grams number two. So grams of aluminum. And this is molar mass again. So the molar mass of aluminum, uh, so if you look that up on the periodic table, that's element number 13 has a mass of 27 grams per one mole. Moles of aluminum crosses out. We're left with grams of aluminum, which is what we are looking for. So we hit the equal sign, pick up the calculator, and we're gonna do 18.0 divided by 24.3 times two divided by three times 27. How many sig figs can we have? Well, our first number has three sig figs, so our answer can have three sig figs which means that our answer is going to be 13.3, and the units are grams of aluminum. All right, so that's how to do it. All right, so I've shown you three examples of how to do the calculations. So now I'm going to scroll down some more. For my computer, wow, it's being really slow here. All right, so I'm going to scroll down here. All right, there we go. All right, here are three more questions that I would like for you to try. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell you to pause. So when I do that, pause the video, obviously. Work out these three on your own, and then once you've got your answers, hit play again, and then uh, the answers will then come up, and you can check and see how you're doing. All right, so here we go. Get ready to pause in one, two, three, pause. All right, so there are the answers. Uh, check them and see how you did. If you have any further questions, uh, please feel free to ask. All right, thanks a lot. Well, as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you have any further questions, please be sure to comment below or you can send me an email to chemistrytalk at gmail.com. 
And if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. You get updates on lots of cool videos. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later.